Hi everyone, I'm sorry for the lack of videos on YouTube. I just don't really feel like filming to be honest uh, because uh, with the coronavirus and plus YouTube is not doing so well for revenue and plus views. So I've been focusing on my life and finding someone and also I've been uh, looking at for different careers because YouTube is just no more. Uh, and then we're having other financial stuff going on and other stuff going on with the farm that there's nothing really to film anymore. Um, but other than that, let's get on the, well, I wanna explain what I've been doing behind the scenes without being YouTube. All right, so the skid steer here, I painted the rims there this winter didn't do a good job just did it for temporary just make it look nice yes it's starting to leak oil again i don't know why took this dumb waiter out i don't know if i've made a video but i think i did i took the dumb waiter out so i could get the skid steer over here and i kind of organized stuff in here and clean stuff up a little bit ni nicer and better in here See, everything is much better and also this car needs to be washed i gonna update you guys on this I changed the transmission fluid in here about a week ago and it's been shifting perfect so far. Uh, no slipping, no jerking, no jittering, nothing. Um, I'm going to change the transmission again, the fluid, but I'm going to wait a while. I'm going to keep changing it because the stuff I took out was really dirty and I suppose being 11, 12 years old and 60, what, 55,000 miles when I got it. And there's no filter in the transmission so it probably built up sludge over time and you know and it got up into the shift solenoids and it's it's still jittery but it's not as bad so i'm gonna keep uh i'm gonna keep keep at it keep changing the fluid and uh we'll go from there but this thing is so dirty it needs to be washed it is so bad so i was thinking about washing it tonight underneath the house here because look at that it's just a mess and i was going to order a uh, new high beam LED kit for that, but the way with a coronavirus and money is, I don't want to mess with that right now. I'm only going to use stuff for bills, uh, so this car will have to be on hold. And it's pretty scary out there. With well, we live in a small town; it's not as bad, probably, but still, it is. Got to take your precaution and and uh, not going to big crowds. Also, I have not been taking care of myself. I haven't shaved. I haven't cut my hair. I just really haven't cared to do anything, to be honest. So let's get in my car here, and I'll sh we'll show how many miles I got on this thing now. All right, the LED lights are on here. Sixty-one thousand four hundred forty-three miles. And uh, it's been doing pretty good since I changed the spark plugs. I got one mile, one to two miles per gallon better. So the plugs probably were needed to be changed. Um, transmission fluid, I changed that. Like I said, it shifts good. Um, however, I'm a little scared here of what transmission fluid I used. This is the stuff I bought on the internet at Walmart. And it says it's for Honda, but I don't know. I Everybody says Honda fluid you should use, but I put this stuff in here and it <laughs> made a hell of a difference compared to that stuff that the Honda dealers put in there or whatever they used. I don't know what they used, but it says for Honda right there, except CBTs, and this is not CBT. So this would work in my Ford, my brown Ford. I still got some left, so I might use it in there. And it would work in my, I don't think it'll work in my Mercedes Benz, no. Nope. But it says it'll work for all that stuff, but here it helps with extended transmission life, high performance seals, prevents leaks, anti-wear, and it helps with smooth shifting and maximum power transfer. And it has seemed to help with maximum shift it shifts perfect so i'm thinking about washing my car tonight because look at it it's just terrible it's just bad so 
very bad. You can see myself in there. There's my phone and my new, my Wi-Fi. <laughs> Look at this. See, I should write Katie on here, huh? Katie. Put Katie. How do you spell her name? <laughs> Katie and... <laughs> There, Katie and Tyler. There we go. <laughs> I better wash it off. She'll kill me. Anyway, <laughs> I like to give her crap a lot. I mean, she knows that. But anyway, besides the transmission, I'm very pleased with that. Now, the next step is I got to uh, rotate the tires and all that blob and number whatever. So that's what's going on with that car. Oh, I still got the Mercedes. I drove up the other day. But I need to replace the alternator and the idle pulley. And I still got my avalanche. Still runs good. And Katie bought this for my uh, key server Snickers. This is a uh, cat house or something like that. I don't know. But anyway, that's where my Katie Snickers go on. I should have had it upstairs, but I didn't take it upstairs. And then I was kind of cleaning the basement here. Get that bed and throw that out. Just cleaning everything. My sump pump hasn't ran yet, but everybody else's is. We got some rain and snow a little bit, and look at all them nice posters on the wall that uh, the, uh, Richie had. That guy, well, me and my second cousin, I got the house from him, but that's all the stuff he had there. Yeah, I got that from the farm for Katie. Now look at these beautiful lights that Katie got me here. Look at that. Ain't that cool? I think that's awesome. She got that for me. But I want to show you guys the biggest next process I got to do with the house here. You notice that the floor looks different here? Look. What's different about it? Let me turn the light on and I'll show you. Well, you can see... I took the floor off there. Look at this old nail here. There's a square nail. Look at that. You can tell this floor is old and this is all dry rotted. Some of it's good. Some of it's bad. This stuff is no good though in spots. It's nice stuff. I hate to wreck it, but you can see that's the old floor underneath there. And what we got to do is if we can... The, this floor here is just for looks. This is the subfloor down here. So we gotta tear all of this off, take everything out of here, and put OSB down, which I, I don't want to, but we're gonna have to. That's all the new houses are designed and built out of now. And if these floor joists are good, which I don't think they are, this is gonna be a, 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 a I'm just gonna say it, bitch. It is. All right, Snickers, can you move? So right here, sorry, sorry. Anyway, right here, I got it covered up. The floor, this couch here, or the couch on this other side was here, and somebody sat in there, it fell right through my floor. Because the floor, subfloor is rotted out, so I cut it in and spliced it together. It's not right. Here's the floor joist right there. So if you can please move, cat, so I can show people. As you can see, there's the subfloor that's not good. And I spliced it together with some hard oak or whatever wood for now. But you can see I had to cut it out in that spot for now. Now I did that probably in December or whatever, but it's not right. It's it's completely here, it's even rotted. See? Not good. Not good snickers. Whoop, <laughs> tipped over. So please bear with me if I can't get any videos out. Like I said, I don't know if I'm going to do videos anymore. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. YouTube has just become a shithole. I'm going to say that. I don't care. YouTube sucks. There's nothing to make videos anymore. There's no fun in it. There's, they've taken all the fun out of it. Ad-friendly shit and all that stuff. It's just not worth it. Rah, Snickers, I agree with you. YouTube sucks. be nice if Jesse would have that story fire where it could just... Be like YouTube and not fuck around with all the stupid um, stories and only 
unlock certain videos that's so stupid be nice if they actually could uh, you could actually make videos i got another place i'd probably think about going story fire i don't know because i want to watch his videos on my xbox and it won't play so whatever so anyway thanks for watching hopefully everyone's staying safe with this coronavirus i'm trying to um, I'm not visiting any of my elderly grandparents or anything. I don't want to get them sick. You should too. Um, wash your hands. Hand sanitizer. Do not be in big, you know, I don't know, gathers and stuff with people. Just take it easy, everyone, and stay safe. Have a good evening, y'all.